Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video. Today we have Marty from Back to the Future Part 3. Another banger by Hot Toys. Another 10, just like I forgot to actually uh, rate Doc Brown. And uh, that to me is a 10, that Doc Brown. Everything about that figure is uh, perfect for me. Uh, same with this Marty. The accessories are great. The fact that we get two looks are great. Um, the ex every, Everything. Everything about the figure. The articulation of the figure. Um, the, the likeness of the figure. The paint application on the head sculpt again. Um, just everything about these two figures are immaculate, perfect. Um, I can't find... Besides, like I mentioned with the Doc Brown figure. The hat being on permanently. That is my only issue. Because, again, to have to dress them and undress them, you have to remove the entire head, which is, again, it takes a second, but it, it, it's annoying because you shouldn't have to do that, right? Um, we know that Hot Toys has given us magnetic stuff over the years, so I don't understand why it was... I mean, I understand it saves them money to make one piece instead of two. Obviously, it's quicker, but um, I don't understand why they, you know, they had to go that route. It's not a big deal, but... We deserve the full head sculpt with the ability to put the hat on if we wanted to. If we not, if we don't want to, you know, why do we have to? You know what I mean? So that's the only issue I have with both figures. But besides that, everything else is perfect. And as you can see, um, I have this is the 1.0 Marty. This is Back to the Future 2. This is the 2.0 Marty from Back to the Future 1. Um, and so let's get into the figure, guys. So here it is. Um, here is Marty Michael J. Fox, looking incredible. Like I said, the likeness is perfect for me. No complaints about this head sculpt whatsoever. Even the expression, you know, just slightly open mouth, really nice. Look at the eyes. Look at the hair. Really, really nice. The poncho. Mag uh, magnetized. He's got a few magnets inside for you to keep it, you know, closed off like this, as you can see right here. That's the magnet in there. Also comes with the bulletproof plate, which I have under there. Really, really nice. Nobody's going to see that, but I put it on. Comes with the revolver. You got to put the, um, the holster on, the leather. It looks like it's leather. Um, really, really nice detail on that as well. Same as Doc Brown's. Um, you got the handkerchief to put around the neck, the bandana, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then also it comes with, same as Doc Brown, he's got a blazer, sports jacket. Um, th this is how you get this, the second look. And you can even remove this and not worry about it having any jackets on. And you still, he still looks great with just the, the button down shirt that he's got on. Also comes with the hoverboard. Just like the uh, Part 2 Marty. Same exact hoverboard. Really, really nice. Uh, it comes with the plate. It's the pie plate. There we go. And he comes with the picture. And then inside is the frame picture, which I'm not opening. There's no need to open that. Also, obviously, your friendly useless base that I will not use. Same as uh, Doc Brown, just huge rectangular base that are, you know, necessary, you know, for me at least. That's why you see I'm using these black old school oval ones. These are the OG uh, Hot Toys bases. Um, obviously, these are generic and they're not Hot Toys, but these are the best ones. Um, like I said, the articulation, guys, really, really good. Everything is super smooth. Um, you know, you got the walkie-talkie radio again right here. Um... Let me see. I'm trying to, and then I'm going to show you guys um, real quickly the other two. Well, the other three. Um, so for a lot of those who don't know or haven't been around in the community that long, this was the 1.0. So this one came with a bunch of different accessories that the 2.0 didn't come with, like the camcorder, as you see, the glasses on top, the guitar was one of the big deals i think this was the exclusive 
So you came, it came with the guitar. Um, again, a lot of people may not know that. Uh, comes with the vest, and as you can see, the one point, the two point I don't have the vest on it, um, just because I wanted to give it a different look. He also comes with the backpack, the one point So they made it differently, which I'm happy about. They didn't give us the exact same thing, and as you can see, actually, I didn't even. I'm going to show you guys the um, the the head sculpts next to each other, so you guys can see how different they are. I'm assuming they're uh, from different artists for them to look so different. Um, but see, given the expression, the look, everything about it, um, see, completely different, very, very different. If anything, the likeness on this one is way better than that one. For some reason, a lot of you guys like this one better. I don't know why. Maybe because again, a lot of you have, a lot of you guys haven't been around. And, uh, I noticed that a lot of people who do like the second one, um, don't like, don't like the first one because they've only seen it in pictures. So they think, oh, well, the one I have is better. It's not. The 1.0 is way better than the 2.0, as you can see. The likeness alone, obviously here he's, he's like squinting a little bit more. The paint application is a little different. And let me show you the application, the paint application on the third one, so you guys could see how much different it is too and how much better it looks. He's got like a nice tan on there. Just really, really nice. See? So, actually, let me put him right here. So, see? Three different expressions, which is awesome. Um, three different looks, which is awesome. You know, they're not exactly the same, like the Doc Brown. And even the Doc Brown, both Doc Browns had slight, you know, the mouth was open. But I think one, you could really see the tongue a lot. And the other one, you can't much. So I think that those were the two differences. And then let me show you guys um, the part two, Marty, which is also completely different. And the hat is removable, which, you know, I don't know why they did it. This is what I mean. You know, I don't know why they didn't do that with the, uh, you know, part three, both Marty and Doc, but it is what it is, you know, but look at the, look at the, um, the likeness. Let me see if I can see. So you could kind of see that they're all different. See, they're all different, all different, all hundred percent different. So, you know, that's why I, I pull out the old figure just to show you guys that, you know, they do, the, the, the head sculpts do change over time. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's because uh, they're different artists who may, like for example, somebody made this one and then somebody else made this one, which, uh, you know, it would make sense to me. Because um, again, it's been many years since this was out. So it's understandable. But the figures are great, 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 great all around. Um, I don't know. So because of the fact that they made a 2.0 out of the, the first release, I don't know if they will make a second uh doc brown i'm gonna assume yes um just because they've gotten a lot of complaints about those two uh head sculpts that are the same exact expression so they may um i think the reason why they made the 2.0 to begin with was to bring back uh the, the little a little bit of the back to the future hype um and to have us look forward to number number one, the third DeLorean, and number two, these two figures that were coming out after this one, obviously. So I think that's the only reason why. But again, who knows what they're going to do? They could always come back with a, a 2.0 Doc Brown from part one. You know, it's not, it's not, um, you know, unfathomable. It's not something that, you know, Hot Toys would never do. So I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to say, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that we are going to get a uh, 2.0 Doc Brown from part one. When? Who knows? But um, it has to come. Eventually it has to come. Uh, like I said, guys, if you um, aren't very interested in these figures because of whatever reason and you're looking forward to the uh, third DeLorean, um, I'm telling you, you guys are going to regret it if you don't get your figures um, before that DeLorean is out. Because like I said, the moment that's out, everybody's going to go for them. So, as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.